Fred here and you're watching the Gear Obsession channel and what I'll be showing you today is the Samsung Gear 360 camera. Now I actually should have already posted this video however for the last week I've been posting videos that I've been taking with this and I went ahead and put those links in the description box below. Also in the description box below is where you could buy this currently on sale. On sale. Less than I paid for it. So I'm kind of pissed. Um, on Amazon they're selling this for $225 right now. Retail this used to be $350. On Best Buy, they're selling it for $267. I also provided links to both of those in the description box below. Now, this camera is not for everybody. It is recommended for anybody that has a Samsung Galaxy S6 or better, or a Note 5, something like that. If you don't have one of those phones in the Samsung camp, the newer ones, you could still use this. You could still transfer your pictures from this device via USB or via taking the micro SD card out and putting it into your computer and using some software they include in here. But, you know, also uh, another stipulation, I'm telling you all the bad stuff right up front. The software they give you is Windows only. So if you have an iPhone and you have a Mac computer, you are crap out of luck. However, if you have Samsung current phone, or you have a Windows PC, then this is the cheapest you could get into a high quality 4K 360 degree video or 30 megapixel snapshots. So here is what mine came in. You get a quick start guide. You get the activation key for the Gear 360 Action director so I don't I put this over there because I'm not going to give away my product key cable a lens cleaner light thingy a safety health blah 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 the camera itself with the tripod which I added onto or I attached to the camera whoops I just turned it on you can see it has a tripod socket so you can use whatever tripod you want on there which is kinda neat let me turn that off and then you get a little strap and they give you this nice case you can see it has some nice soft lining with some drawstrings now there are a couple of 360 cameras out there and they do their 360 magic in different ways and I feel that what they do here is the best way because you have some that have one lens on the top and it gets 360 but it only gets slightly below the plane the level plane you know what I mean it doesn't get all the way below however if you have two lenses just like this you are actually getting a full ball around kind of video each of these are a hundred and eighty degree uh, lenses fisheye lenses that the software and the magic in here stitch together to give you that full 360 degree picture or video so what you're looking at is two 180 degree fisheye f 2.0 lenses so really wide lets a lot of light in and it has some tempered glass over here it looks like it does have a coating on it anti-reflective coating you can see it's like purplish there behind there you have a 15 megapixel CMOS sensor behind those lenses. CMOS stands for complementary metal oxide semiconductor. The chipset that does all the magic in there is the DRIME5S. And again, this records video in MP4 H265 video. However, the software that you put on the, your your um, computer, if you use that action director, it can also convert it or automatically you could select and it could uh, output H264 if that's an issue and then again your photos are JPEG stills there's some sensors in here for uh, does gyro and accelerometer now to store the video while you're taking it, it is behind this door right here and you can see there's a card slot right there SD card and uh, it's a micro SD card and it can handle up to two hundred uh, gigabits gigabytes right there you also have your USB 
plug right there and in here is the battery you can see that just sort of goes in there that battery is a 1350 milliamp hour battery I already stuck it in here you can see there's a little gasket there because this is dust and splash proof however you can't put this under water another point I want to make a really important point once I put this tripod on here I put this on my scale it's seven and a half ounces on my own scale so it is kinda hefty now this could talk to my phone via Bluetooth and all you do is you just press and hold the power button right here and it turns on just like that you could see it has two lights one on each lens you could actually configure this where it takes pictures just out of the front lens or the rear lens or both you can actually get in there in the settings and do all kinds of different things I'm gonna go ahead and start up the Samsung Gear 360 software and you can see it it connected automatically if it doesn't you could uh, press the button to get it to connect again it does it via Bluetooth it also does near field uh, which is N NFC communication where you just sort of touch your phone I have that turned off on my phone so you can do a live view which is pretty cool when it does this live view feature it's actually using Wi-Fi direct just so you know so it does have Wi-Fi going on in here and you can check this out I'm gonna go ahead and open this up a little bit and you can see live view here I am ain't that cool here I'll tip it this way and you can see really cool I'm gonna go ahead and put my finger around here so you can sort of see actually I'm gonna point this directly at me so you can see my finger going on you can see it goes all the way down all the way up a full sphere kind of picture and I could go ahead and hit record or I could do a stamp shot really really cool one thing I want to point out this button right whoops right here is where you could go ahead and click and select the lenses that you want to take like right now it's just the rear lens I'm gonna hit this again and now it's just the front lens and hit it again and now it's going to utilize both lenses and make that full 360 also you have this mode button down here where you could select the different modes that this camera can use you could do video your photo snapshots which are 30 megapixel pictures keep in mind and again video is 4k you have your time lapse and you also have video looping so once the the card is full it'll start erasing the oldest and it will record the newest so it's kinda neat now you're probably limited more by battery life um, you know if you're doing constant video kinda stuff it's not gonna last over an hour I'm telling you right now I've been messing with this for over a week that's why you haven't seen too many videos for me other than the the demo videos that I posted again in the description box below I did a time lapse and I did a daytime driving where I had it on my dashboard and I also did a nighttime because I wanted you to see the low light capability it does have that f2 lens that lets in a lot of light however the uh, 50 megapixel CMOS sensors are not full size sensors so it's not going to be extraordinary but it does a pretty good job wanted to quickly show you the gear 360 action director software that can only go on windows there is no mac solution uh... they they preloaded some some video and pictures here i'll go ahead and just sort of play one so you can see the people moving there and this is what will stitch your um, two lenses the two the two cameras that are on the thing there it will stitch it together and output it and you could select either the uh, H264 265 I don't want to get into too much detail I don't want to be making a, an extremely long video so here's what you should take away from this video you cannot get a higher value 360 degree camera than this 4K for $225, very, very high quality. Just can't beat it. I swear to you, you cannot beat this. However, number one, it's not waterproof. Number two, 
you got to have a Windows machine if you want to go ahead and do the stitching and transferring videos on a computer. It has to be Windows PC. And if you want to have the full capability with a cell phone, you have to have a Samsung S6 or Note 5 or better. So there are some <laughs> ups and downs to this whole thing. So just wanted to put everything out there. I am so happy I got this. I am looking forward to posting a lot more 360 degree videos with it. It is incredible. I even, uh, one thing that I really like, now this is a string away a little bit from the video uh, review of this because it is a review it's not really an unboxing but I have a stick selfie stick that you could put it on really cool and another thing I had is this little Manfrotto tripod I could stick this onto here and the reason why I'm showing you this is if you have a tripod you put this on top of a tripod with legs that start out right up here those legs are going to be really into the picture however if you get a, a selfie stick with a little tripod on the bottom it's not going to intrude into the picture as much so I got this big selfie stick and I put the ball on here and it barely intrudes into the picture all you're going to see is the feet if you look all the way you know you sort of zoom or not zoom but sort of uh, scroll all the way downward so really does a good job minimizing that tripod in your picture and it, it gets the height up so I recommend uh, do something like that you know just get a selfie stick with a with a tripod hole in the bottom where you can get one of these little Manfrotto guys or other type of little tripod it works really good and it looks kind of kind of weird <laughs> it's cool <laughs> all right I recommend you better get it while it's on sale uh, it, I don't know how they could sell these things this cheap and uh, unlike a lot of Samsung products, this has not caught on fire or got hot or anything. <laughs> it's doing great. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for joining me here at the Europe Session channel. I really do appreciate every February subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.